Hey guys, I am back. My name is Pia um, and I do videos on Barbie dolls and I also do videos on administrative assistant. Today I want to do a, a video which I think is an important topic. I want to talk about how not to be too comfortable at your nine to five job. Now I am 40 years old. So right now I'm in the age bracket where you really don't want to be switching jobs too often. You want to find a job, maybe you could stay there for five or six or eight years and then either move up or go to um, a different type of a position or try to move in within the company that you work for. If I've learned anything about 2024, the nine to five bracket, I'm going to tell you guys what I learned. Not to be too comfortable in one position. I don't know if you guys are knowing what's going around, especially with the economy. People are losing their jobs. People are losing everything. Um, groceries are expensive. Gas is expensive. Um, just in general, it's just so much money. And what do you do when you only have maybe one or two income that doesn't even reach the bracket of six figures. Now, not a lot of people are fortunate enough to be married. Now I'm married, so that's two incomes and we're still just barely making it. And every single week where it's, I almost feel like I'm on American Idol where you're hoping that you make it to the next week without being laid off or the fact you might be in a position where you're searching for a job. Now, not now with my position, I don't make that much. I don't even make over 50K a year. I make less than 50K. I believe I'm in a bracket of anywhere from 35 or 40,000. That is poverty level and I'm fine with that. My husband, on the other hand, he's the one that pays the mortgage. So he's like probably like, uh, I really don't know. I think he's anywhere, maybe probably six figures or something like that. So between those two, we're able to stay afloat, but it's still not enough because he's also in the position as well where he could be let go. I could be let go. We don't know what happens each week. This is why I want to talk about don't get too comfortable at one position. We see a lot of people do this. They put in a lot of years and they work for a company. I'm not saying, now not all companies are bad. There are companies out there who are really good companies that they just don't have the money to pay the employees. Now we already took a big deficit in everything with Corona happening, right? And now we're four years now, there's this huge election coming up. Things are getting intense, things are getting hot. Um, you know, every single week, people at work, I, I'm seeing people be let go. I always feel like, it's kind of, it's like kind of like the coronavirus. When Corona happened, I remember a lot of people were being let go. They were being terminated. I was sent home for two weeks and then I was told I might not even have a job, but I was fortunate enough and I praised the Lord above, I did have a job. But now I feel like we're going back to the same thing again. Every week people being let go. There are things that are happening. And I just want to say, do not get too comfortable with one position. If you know how to sing, uh, you write short stories, maybe you like to draw, maybe you like to create YouTube content, create the video. Even if only four or five people are watching your video, you don't know who is watching that video. You don't know what difference you can make in someone's life. And let me tell you something, YouTube is just like any other any other um, career or any other um, activity. So for example, if you want to be a swimmer, right? You have to learn how to swim and you have to practice. You're not gonna be a top swimmer if you don't practice. The same thing with YouTube. You gotta put videos out there consistently. You have to have a schedule. When you put videos out there consistently, you have a schedule, your videos will get shown. And let me tell you the other thing, nobody's perfect. If you're weighted, for the perfect camera, the perfect script. Listen, people don't care. You know what people care about? They care about what information you're given. I had had videos that I shot 
I didn't even think they were worth uploading. And let me tell you, those were the videos that I reached a thousand bracket. And the ones I had a little script, I had some nice music in the background, the camera was on point, my voice was on point. Guess what? I got a big fat zero on those videos. So I just put up these videos for fun now. And let me tell you, once I started putting my videos up for fun and I was consistent in the videos, I noticed that my subscription was was climbing up i noticed more people are watching the video because i'm putting on more consistent basis so what i'm trying to say is i'm not getting too comfortable in my admin position because nothing just like life is not guaranteed my job is not guaranteed so i can't just focus on just my job i come home i have to work like i have seven jobs i come home i take care of my family i um, I usually have a notebook where I strategize um, maybe topics I want to talk about, videos I want to make. Once that's done, I, you guys know I love my Barbies. I usually prep my dolls for the next shows that I have coming up and whatnot. And I used to sell stuff on eBay and on Poshmark. I'm thinking of going back to that now. Um, just everything I have, I'm just going to liquidate it into Poshmark, into eBay. Also, I'm working on something else in the background. When that is done, I will let you guys know about it because that's going to be another avenue of income. Um, follow me on YouTube. Please follow me on TikTok. I'm almost close to 1,000 subscribers on TikTok. Once I get that threshold of 1,000, I could go live. I could actually open up a Shopify. That's the other thing I'm working on where I want to do inspirational journals. I want to do in journals that are going to inspire people. Um, so that's something that I could tell you guys. That's something I'm working on. But my other big thing I'm working on, I haven't really, you know, I'm not going to say what it is because I haven't really done it yet. I need to do it first, then tell you guys. So please, if you are watching this video, it, it doesn't matter what position you are because where I am, I work at a hospital. I see they let nurses go. They let executive people go. They let people who are medical staff, they're all getting let go. And yes, I don't get paid as much as them, but that doesn't mean that we're guaranteed because look at it this way. If there's four of us who are on the threshold of maybe I'm just, I'm just giving estimates here, maybe 40 or 35 and three of us together, that makes 70. They might decide, listen, they don't need the three staff. Let's get rid of these three people and keep these three people. And then we run the clinic. Nothing is guaranteed. This is why I, you know, I stress to myself. I always stress to my family, have an other passive income in case something drops you could fall back on the other. Now in the past, maybe 15, 20 years ago, a lot of people were getting a second job at a grocery store or at a mall, you know, just some way of passive income. That time has changed. Everyone now is either they're selling stuff or they're doing Airbnbs or they're doing like websites, they're doing coach, they're doing trading, all these things that people are trying to do to have some type of passive income. But here's another thing that's very tricky. If the economy is going down, people are losing their job. Guess what? They're not going to have money to buy clothes or to buy your classes, whatever. You have to keep coming up with new ways to make money. So before I end this video, and I know we're only three months out within the year, if anything I learned in 2024, guys, do not get comfortable in one position. I don't care if you could draw, if you could write, if you could sing, if you could cook, if you could clean, all those are um talents that you could turn into passive income i hope this helps i hope this helps you guys um because i'm using this advice for myself as well but i also want to put this video out there as, as well too when you're a medical administrative assistant yes you do not get paid a lot you can move up into the ladder but understand this your job is not safe they could lay you off you could get sent home right so what do you do if this is all you have and it's a nine to five find another way to make passive income. I use my full-time job to basically feed into my entrepreneur jobs, which is I'm trying to grow my YouTube channel. I'm trying to grow a TikTok channel. I have other things I'm working on in the background. I really want to work also on a Shopify website where I could do inspirational biblical journals that people have gratitude for. Because one thing I know every morning I wake up, that's a gift. I'm already, you're already winning because you woke up.
think about that. Not a lot of people had the chance to wake up. Not a lot of people had a chance to go home, go to work and come back home. I'm grateful for that. So those are the kind of things I want to talk about and create and put that out there. Guys, go ahead and subscribe to that channel. Let me know um, if there is... Um, if you have a channel, let me know what you guys like to do. If some of you guys like to draw or some of you guys like to sing, I would love to check out your channel. I hope this was a, I hope this was an informal video for you guys. I just want to say, please don't get comfortable in one position. I would hate for you to be at a job, whatever job it is, and you put 20 or 30 years. And then when they have to make cuts, you're gone. And all you had was that job. You have nothing to fall back on. That's very hard for some people. Some people, I've seen people work at companies for 10, 15 years that they gave their life and then they're just gone, right? 2024, that's what I've learned, guys. Don't get too comfortable in one position. Bye-bye, guys. I hope to see you next time.